Hello, everybody. I'm Brian. And I'm Brian. And this is Brian vs. Brian, episode uh, 218. Bad boys. Ride or die. I almost said for life. They <laughs> <laughs> uh, already did that one. Ride or die, baby. Um, so, yeah, directed by Adil and Belil. Adil and Belil. Adil Bilal. <laughs> I guess. All right, whatever. Um, what we got here? We got mm, June seventh, twenty twenty four. Uh, soon as they had that opening weekend, that that uh monster fire that was Bad Boys for Life did really well. Boom! Immediately that weekend, they're like, "Hey, we're doing another one." Yeah, we're doing another one, and uh, it took a little bit because uh, I had some hiccups with the. Will Smith slapping situation and other things that came up. Uh, budget of 100 million, box office of 404.2 million. That's what I'm talking about. Will Smith's back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, people yeah. showed up. Slap or not? Slap or no? I mean, people show up. People yeah. want to see the bad boys movies. Yeah, it's weird that uh, you know, that one's already gotten two legacy sequels. He's got some other stuff he should he could revisit, but he hasn't. Mm -hmm. I mean, he didn't do the new Independence Day, but he probably read the script. Yeah, I'll say yeah, and it doesn't done anything else. He's waiting for a Wild Wild West uh, legacy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wild Wild West money. <laughs> All right, what we got? We got uh four years after the death of Isabel Aretas, Detective Mike Lowry marries his physical therapist Christine. During the reception, his partner, Marcus, suffers a mild heart attack. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> we had the, 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 was that where the bowl of jelly beans were? Uh, no, that was at the that was later. warehouse. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, because he hasn't yeah. been, he hasn't been told to, well, I guess technically he's been told not to eat that stuff. Because I think the opening scene is at the market, he's told, but like officially by the doctors, he's told not to after the. After the heart attack at the wedding, so the jelly beans is like you know part of that yeah. gap. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And then he like you know the water falling out of his body and watching himself and looking at Mike trying to resuscitate him and stuff. Um, <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, would he? I can't remember if it was shortly after that or before it. When I feel sick, Mike, I need a ginger ale. We gotta yeah, stop yeah. real quick. <laughs> That's how the it. movie opens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the Skittles and the is that Skittles, Marcus? You fucking bitch. No, no, those aren't mine. Yeah, that was yeah he was good. taking too long with the ginger ale. That's uh, so I had to get the Skittles. <laughs> He's like, I didn't. <laughs> he got it right yeah, away. He, like, <laughs> he immediately got the ginger. <laughs> uh, He's like, oh man, please don't do this. If I'm not back at the car in 15 seconds. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He's gonna come in here. All right. So, uh, oh yeah, Marcus wakes up, believes he cannot die. He believes he's been chosen because the captain tells him in his death dream, "It's not your time." Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, did it, did did it, did, and the captain's legacy has been tarnished after his death. Mike and Marcus are determined to prove his innocence with the help of Captain Rita Sakata and her new boyfriend, mayoral candidate Adam Lockwood. So we Mr. basically Mr. Fantastic himself. Mr. Fantastic yeah. himself. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So Oh, the pre recorded video. Yeah, that's how we kind of kick it off. Was sent to them on their phone, warning them of corruption within federal and state law enforcement. Howard uses the phrase Coke bottle as a code phrase and is revealed that he gave information to their former hacker colleague, Fletcher. They go to Fletcher's club to retrieve the files. Turns out to be a QR code, doesn't it? Always. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm trying to hack something. I'm trying to get some files, and then, hey, scan this with your phone. Wow, well, man, don't you have a normal menu, mm -hmm. please? <laughs> Sign into your Amazon account. Scan this QR code. <laughs> oh, damn it! That whole thing was like kind of ridiculous because they get this video from their their captain, and he just gives him like 
he gives him like breadcrumbs. It's like, can you just tell us? <laughs> why do you, why are you making us do we jump through all these hoops? Yeah, he's dead, and you're trying to tell us. <laughs> so <laughs> tell us. <laughs> no, I can't. You don't have no idea what they do to me. <laughs> you're already dead. <laughs> yeah, they could do worse. Trust me. <laughs> oh God. And uh, yeah, I mean they go, fucking they go through it. And they're getting chased by everybody under the sun. Um, it's got a lot of fun moments. I th I thought it was pretty damn engaging. Uh, surprised that Bad Boy still has any life in it. Mm -hmm. Surprised me. I was like, damn, this is. I feel like they could make a couple more of these. <laughs> these yeah. are usually pretty entertaining. And uh, Mike, or not Mike, but uh, Will Smith, uh, he's in really good shape for this one. Way better than the first one. And uh, Martin Lawrence a little better. He's still, you know, not the greatest shape, but better than yeah, the first yeah. reboot, definitely. Yeah, we even get the, who was that guy uh, that they intimidate in the old ones? Oh. Dating, like... Yeah, you're talking about the really tall guy with the glasses? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I forget his fucking name. Reggie, I think. I think Reggie's the stepson guy, right? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The oh, stepson, yeah. This house and Reggie just fucking annihilates these guys. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. John Wick style. <laughs> just watching over the freaking cameras. Yeah. Do you believe good. this shit? Hey, Mike, <laughs> come check this out. <laughs> what else we got? But up, up, up. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like the. Um, Mike alluding to Marcus's newfound belief that he can't die shoots him in the chest. Like he oh, shot me yeah. in the chest. Yeah, I had to to get the shot. You wearing a vest? Calm down, man. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was pretty good. Or like when he when he's getting um, held at gunpoint and he's offered the choice. He's like, "Well, what you don't know is one of these guys can't die." And uh, Mike's like, <laughs> "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> that was pretty good. It's like someone told me that one of the, you can't die. He's like, you better get that motherfucker over here. I'll slap his ass or whatever he says. It was pretty good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they team up with his son, Lowry's son from the the last one. Yeah, I right. barely remember any of these people. By the way, from the last movie, I've seen, yeah. seen that movie. I saw it in theaters, but that was it. I'm like, all these people are showing up. I'm like, I right, think that right, I all the younger cops them. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's all right. Um. <sighs> oh, okay. And then we got uh who is yeah the daughter of the, the captain, right? Is kinda on the case too, and then uh, for some reason the granddaughter is involved. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. But uh I think at the very end she has a chance to kill um who? Armando? Ar Armando? Yeah. Yeah. But then her daughter shows up and uh, asks her not to and to show mercy. It's, oh, my God. Why? Oh, my daughter. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, Mom. He yeah. saved me. Yeah, he saved me. <laughs> You're right. He may have killed, but he's, a, he's got a golden heart. <laughs> <laughs> How many people have you killed throughout this franchise, buddy? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Mark, Mike and Marcus... And Howard are cleared of all charges. Corruption is exposed. Mike and Marcus's families then celebrate by having a picnic in the park with Mike and Marcus cooking food on a public grill with Reggie. That's a fun little shot. Reggie! Yeah, uh, I mean, it's just... It's fun. I, th I, th I thought I saw Michael Bay in this. Did you see him? Yeah, there's a him? bunch of cameos. Michael Bay is in it. That one guy that does the Instagram where he reacts to dumb people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff, he's in it. Um, the, I think one of the actors from the first movie, the guy who's supposed to be the art guy, artsy guy, he's from either the first or second movie. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other, like, I felt like they brought a bunch of people back, but those are the three that came to my mind. But yeah, yeah. Michael Bay was driving that Porsche. Yeah, he didn't, it was Jerry Bruckheimer, right? That did the first couple, not Michael Bay. Well, that was Michael Bay. Michael Bay did the first two. Oh, it was Michael Bay? Did the Jerry first? Bruckheimer was producing. Uh, yeah, he doesn't direct, does he? <clears throat> you got me. 
<laughs> he looked uh, long gray hair. He looked really pale and skin. It's really skinny. Like, hey, are you all right, Michael Bay? <laughs> he looked really skin. <laughs> very, very hairy. <laughs> <laughs> like a shawl. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the explosions are fun. Fucking practical effects are cool. Uh, car chase stuff is really cool. Um, story is pretty fun. I mean, uh, like I said, I didn't think there's uh, any I mean, meat left on the bone of bad boys, but they did it again. And yeah. it was pretty fun. People just like to see this bullshit. Uh, we like to see <laughs> these guns and these cars spin around and the explosion and then uh lawrence say something funny mm-hmm. uh, and mike say oh man yeah we love it <laughs> rinse and uh, repeat <laughs> hell yeah dude yeah uh yeah I, i'm gonna give it a seven i enjoyed it quite a bit it's not amazing but i'm really surprised that it's as good as it is uh considering this is the second legacy sequel they're really squeezing this thing out but uh yeah, I could see them. <laughs> they're probably going to do more because uh, they're yeah. still fun. Yeah. And these guys' chemistry is just amazing. I mean, it's just one of those things. Yeah, I feel like that's like the one thing going for this movie. I'm actually quite different from you today. Um, mm. which is good because, you know, sometimes we're more aligned than we think we are. And then, But every now and again, we got we to gotta diverge. Um, yeah, I didn't like this movie that much. Um, I didn't oh. think any of the action was anything exciting or interesting i didn't laugh i think once i think i chuckled maybe during the redneck scene but other than that i didn't laugh i thought a lot of the comedy was actually kind of cringe i was just like oh my god this is awful this is uh, not good um but it's one of those things where it's like i watch it and i don't laugh but then when you and i are discussing it and you're kind of replaying the movie uh i laugh a little bit more because i don't know i think you're better acting than some of the movie <laughs> some of the movies are made to be honest with you um but yeah, just overall, the story's fine. Story's serviceable. Um, it's okay. The side plot with the... I think her name was Linda, Lucy, whatever. The chick who's after Armando. I don't yeah. know. It's just like all these weird side plots. Uh, Mike having um, Mike having panic attacks because he finally has like something that he cares about in his life. That was kind of interesting, but I don't think they really do much with that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Just overall, it was fine. I think I actually like Bad Boys for Life. Uh, more than this one um yeah just personally i didn't find the action to be all interesting uh, i didn't find it to be funny um it was kind of a drag so to me it's like a 5.5 5. it's kind of middle Ooh. just for me it's a middle of the road it's whatever Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i'm never gonna watch damn. this again nor do i have a desire wow. to watch it again <laughs> god damn bro harsh be so mean to him, my glory. I'm never gonna watch this again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's funny. After it, after it ended, I uh went on YouTube and watched the first like five minutes of the first one. I'm just like, God, it's so fuck. It's so much better. It's so good. With the fucking eating oh, the burger yeah. and the Porsche, and they're younger and they're a little more, you know, their banter is a little more rapid fire and fun. But uh, not much you can do about that. They're old. I get that, but I don't know. It just doesn't quite isn't isn't quite doing for me anymore for me personally. <clears throat> Okay, fuck. What'd you say? Five point five? Yeah. Five point five and a seven. It's still doing it for me. Go check it out. It just came on to Netflix. See if it's still doing it for you. Uh four years after the first legacy sequel. Yeah. We get the second legacy sequel. Um yeah, I'm still waiting for that goddamn I am legend too. I know, oh, right? <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna work. Yeah, hey, he's in it. No. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. They're definitely going to DH him, that's for sure. <laughs> we'll see what they do. Uh, and yeah, they've been, I've been hearing about that for a long time. It's like, I don't even believe if it's happening at this yeah. point. You know what I mean? So many rumors. Anyways, go check it out. 5.5 and a 7. Bad Boys. Uh, ride or Die. Um, on Netflix right now. Uh, thanks for joining us. Please like, subscribe here on YouTube. We appreciate having you. As always, we're on uh, Spotify and uh, Apple Music. If you choose to do your podcast there with just the the just the just audio sensations in your ears. You don't like the little mm-hmm. eyeball triggers. You like to mow your lawn or do, do your laundry or something. Boom. <laughs> We're there. Uh, yeah. And until the next piece, we say peace. Peace.